Yo, what's up YouTube? It's me Noah or Bad Choice Noah and today I am just waking up, you know, getting all ready. But anyways, I'm headed to the shop right now, so let's get started. Let's go. All right, me and Eric downstairs once again, tag teaming it as per usual. And what do we got today? Dude, gargoyle? Mess with some gargoyle geckos. Man, I love these guys. How cool are these things? Man, they're pretty sweet. And have you ever tried to get them to jump? Are these the ones that jump? Oh, yeah, they jump. They jump all right. Did let's see if we can. We'll try and stimulate them a little bit. I don't know. He hasn't been in a hoppy mood. Yeah. They basically remind me of super similar to when we used to have a lot of crested geckos yeah they're very similar similar diet they yeah. actually came they come from the same place new caledonia so I'll probably see one of each of them in the same tree i don't think i can get this one to jump yeah it's no problem but yeah i just want to give you guys a little update because i remember back at when we were in the old shop my mom loved crested geckos that was like her thing for a good year year and a half i believe and we would literally we would just hoard crested geckos my mom would have so many and she it i think it oh it, it, jumped. it jumped it jumped but i remember my mom used to have so many so i just wanted to show show off a little gargoyle i'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl but i believe cool. it's a female female that's a female shout out to all you females out there all right guys so i was just taking some pictures for some core snakes and i saw this really cool butter to sarah corn snake so i just want to show you guys see how cool he is there you look at him right there literally Golden, golden like Goldilocks, baby. That's gonna be his new nickname, Goldilocks. Just a little update, showing you guys a little cool animal right there. Yo, what's up guys? All right, interrupting because I just got a new shoe. Converse Golf Le Fleur. They are Tyler, the creator. He's a rapper, musician. They're his brand of shoe. So it's a Converse collab. They've been doing it a couple times. I don't even know, this might be like the third or fourth time they, uh, release a new colorway but so it comes in this nice bag that it holds this is the first time i'm seeing this too i think i got like a light pink blue colorway not sure how it will look in person comes all wrapped up these are interesting <laughs> interesting purchase by me man they definitely look cool i have no clue what i'll wear them with. maybe i'll just give them to my mom to be honest. It's actually really nice material too. Oh, yeah, it's like a really nice suede. Um, Converse did a good job on this. Uh, really cool design though. All right, let's get back to the regularly scheduled episode. What do you think about my shoes? <laughs> I, I was telling them that I might give them to you. Oh yeah? I don't know. <laughs> they're kind of, I like them a lot, but like they're just a weird color. I don't know what to match them with. Yeah, you have to go shopping. Yeah. Get a nice pink shirt. That was odd. Do you like them though? Nice. Yeah. All right. I might good. Have to give me a pair. I'm gonna be telling you guys a scary story today. This story I'm gonna tell you happened very recently. This is a ghost story. All right. So me and my cousin, right? We're in Hawaii. I'm visiting him. We have some friends over for uh, the Cavs game. Past that, it's later in the night. Uh, he has one friend over. I'm falling asleep because it's so late and. This is late at night, probably one or two. Headshot. All right, that was easy. My cousin had a friend over and he went to the corner store to go get some to drink. He comes back and when she, he comes back in the room, she thought I was with him and I was in a separate room sleeping, right? She thought I was with him and Brandon was like, what are you talking about? Noah's been sleeping for like an hour. And she was like, yeah, I know, but I thought he came with you. I saw him leave and then I saw him come back with you. And I didn't even know about this. Brandon told me that he said that he asked if it was like a shadow and stuff. And she was convinced that it was not a shadow, right? Which is like, okay, well, I can only take your word for it. Cause... Wow, that was so bad. Uh, I didn't even know about this. This is, they never told me because my cousin thought she was lying. So he's asking more questions like, are you being serious with me? Like, are you just, he thought she was just messing around saying that there's a ghost in where we were staying. So fast forward, it's the next day, right? Same thing happens. Uh, this time we were watching a different basketball game. I'm pretty sure it was like Golden State or whatever. This is like a day or two 
ahead. I wasn't feeling that good that day, so I w went to bed early. It was about 9 p.m., right? I was just like, oh, I don't really want to go to dinner right now. I'm not feeling too good. I go to bed. This is in the hotel, by the way. So I go to bed, and my cousin and a couple of his friends, they go to dinner at some Korean barbecue place. I wake up. It's about 11.30, right? So it's not like... I've only been asleep for a couple hours, and I text him, I'm feeling better now, I just need a little nap, I guess, right? So, I text him, I'm like, yo, where you at? Alright, so we died there, and anyways, so I text him, right? It's, uh, like I said, 11.30, I text him, I'm like, yo, where you at? Like, I'm feeling better, uh, what's, like, what's going on? He's like, anyways, he was just like, nothing, I'm just gonna head back, uh, right now. Uh, are you up or whatever? Just like ask him if I'm going back to sleep. And I was like, no, nah, I think I'm going to stay up and wait for you. He was like, all right, bet. After that, I put my phone down. And I'm just like watching. It was just like ESPN or whatever it was on. I feel something on my leg, touching my leg, right? Double pump's so good. Alright, so I was waiting for my dogs to be quiet. That's why I wasn't talking. I feel something on my leg, right? And I'm like... And I'm like, oh, man. What is that weird, like, tingling feeling I feel on my leg? So the... And then the blanket starts getting pulled. And I swear to God, it... I, I had the, the blanket over my chest, right? And I had my arms out of it. The blanket got pulled for so far down that my entire, like, peck was completely exposed. And I was just like super confused. And remember, I, they did not tell me the story about her seeing like a figure, multiple figures, right? I didn't, I had no clue about that. So like, it wasn't even in my mind. I'm just sitting there like, wait, what's going on? Like, did that actually happen? I'm like trying to think, but like, I was literally not moving. I was standing still. Cause I was like, is this really happening? Am I, is my blanket getting pulled? And it's super weird too because like i had my feet outside of the blanket right so it's not like so it's not like it was gravity right it would have been like hanging off the blanket but i wasn't even hanging off the blanket you know what i'm saying like does that make sense hold on i'm gonna try to focus and try to kill this guy real quick what she did the same thing that i did to him no way so anyways, so my whole chest and stuff was exposed, right? And I'm just sitting there like, what the heck? So I call my cousin. I'm like, I tell him exactly what I told you. I'm like, dude, I tell him all the details. I'm like, my whole chest got exposed. And I'm just like, this is like the one of the first ghost stories that has happened to me. So I'm like, whoa, I'm tripping about it. And he tells me the story about the girl and what she experienced. And I'm like, you're joking with me, right? He's like, no, I'm being completely serious. So we tell her about it, and then she starts tripping out. She's, like, super scared. And basically, that was it. Like, we didn't experience anything else scary for the rest of the day. We were only in the hotel two more days after that. After that, it just was, like, there's just, like, a little weird feeling, but that was it. It was just super weird because it did, wasn't harmful or anything. It was just, like, I felt somebody, like, kind of touching my, like, chest and leg, and then the blanket being pulled off, and it was just... I've never experienced something like that. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have experienced anything like that. Please let me know. Like, tell the whole story. I want to read them because ghost stories are really interesting to me. I'm still, like, a skeptic. Like, I don't know. The, the, I don't know the complete science, obviously, because, like, I don't know if anybody does. But I'm just saying, like, it felt like there was ghosts, but there could have been a logical explanation behind it for sure. But that was just my story, so I'm going to play this last game out, right? Try my hardest, not talk, and uh, try to catch this win for you guys. Also, if you guys like videos like this, well, I do live streams every, pretty much every day. You can follow me on Twitch.tv, and if you got Amazon Prime, you can get a free subscription. That worked out well. See, the problem with hopping into that right now, I don't look at my mats, right? So I'm gonna come over here real quick. I'm just gonna break all these trees, just so I have more than them. And then I can win the build fights easier.
it's as easy as one, two, three. Double pumps back, baby. Yeah, it's back. People are, oh my god, a llama. Nice. Pretty sure it actually is faster to shoot it, but it's fine. Don't have to waste anything. Strange. Sometimes you just gotta uh, recoup. that's gonna be it thank you guys so much i'm sorry that i didn't catch that dub there but that was a pretty good last game whatever uh if you guys like more videos like this i'll be streaming tonight on twitch probably an hour or two after you see this so keep it in mind uh thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe click that post notifications and like the video thank you guys so much and peace out